Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Rich Willens Webinars, Webinar Swaps, JVZoo Webinars, and just some great free training in general. Hello, my name is Rich Willens. Thank you very much for joining us on this special evening tonight. We know your time is very important, and I'm so glad that we are going to spend this time together. We're broadcasting live like we always do from the great state of Mississippi, just outside of Biloxi in my hometown of Ocean Springs, Mississippi, on the Gulf of Mexico. Come on by and visit you will absolutely love it. Thanking again everybody for coming by tonight. You know we like to bring the best of the best and tonight uh, the products that we present on Webinar Swaps and Rich Willens webinars and JVZoo webinars are just what we think the best and the classiest and the ones that are so easy to use that's only designed for you for you to do one thing and that's be successful in the internet marketing niche. Our guests tonight have been around for a long time. They were one of the original uh, um, contributors to JVZoo as well as uh, being in internet marketing for many many years they put out a lot of products and a lot of people follow these guys they're rock stars in their own right they have their own uh, rock star event usually once a year in Las Vegas and tonight we are honored to have two of one of I think the finest I am guys in the market Dr. Dan Ardavelli and rock star Ben Littlefield welcome to the program guys thanks for coming by Thanks for having us, Rich. Thanks, everybody. We are excited about tonight uh, because we are going to share some really cool, fun stuff with you. Uh, Dan, I heard you talking a minute ago, but I want to make sure your mic is still working. You're still there. You were there, buddy. Mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Dr. Dan here. <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Uh, well, Dan, I wanted to, to make sure you're there because I need you, and uh, you and Rich are going to be my eyes because when I'm in full screen mode like this, I don't really see uh, the folks chiming in. Uh, so with that, what's that, what's that joke, uh, Rich? I know, I know you're the joke man. What's that joke where, you know, you say you're like three blind men trying to feel yourself or something like that, feel yourself around? Yeah, that's not one of my jokes, uh, Danny, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look it up in, in, the, in the archive and get back to you on that. Three blind men leading a, a whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's jump into this because I bet you guys want to want to see, uh, see some stuff about 50K in 30 days, am I right? Let's see some yeses or noes in that chat box. And Dan, remember you're my eyes on that thing, buddy. For sure, I'm feeling around for you. Cool, cool. Oh, you want me to look now? Yeah. Uh, yes. We got go. All right, cool. So, all right, so here's, here's the thing. This is it. Uh, this is the only, uh, only thing we got between us and jumping in is, guys, turn off your distractions. Take some notes because this is packed with pure content. Uh, jump in. Don't jump in at the end because we do have a kick-ass offer at the end of this uh, for you guys. Either which way, we are here to deliver high-value content that you can use starting now as soon as you absorb this information. So turn off those distractions, take some good notes, and yes, we will stick around for Q&A before we go. All right, with that said, let me ask a quick question, and Dan, remember you are my eyes in the chat box. Uh, does anyone here call yourself an affiliate marketer or maybe a local or offline marketer, maybe a lead gen marketer? Just type in, you know, type it in if you, if you resonate with any of these. Are you calling yourself a product marketer? Any of those? You could say yes, no, yes to all, no to all. Wait, what is, what are, where do you lie in this, uh, in this whole spectrum? Because we, we see these labels all the time. We just want to get a really good idea of who you guys are out there. What are you seeing there, Dan? I'm seeing uh, lead gen marketer, affiliate marketer, local business, um, yes to all, lead gen, local, CPA all right, well, marketer. Okay, cool. Well, I got some bad news. These labels are holding you back big time. They really are. These labels are preventing you from, from really achieving an easier to run business uh, that, that leverages out all what you're already doing and in a much bigger way. All right, let me give you some, pick, some quick background here because in, in the very beginning, this, this is called Digital Assets Redefined. So let's do a little Digital Assets 101, all right? Uh, let, we're going to go back in a little time machine here when Dan and I had gotten started in, in what we were doing. And, you know, yeah, we wore that label for a long time as offline or local marketer, uh, whatever you want to call it, lead gen marketing. We used to wear that label quite a bit. And when we started, um, we really had a service offering. Uh, we were doing SEO, 
and video marketing website design. I mean, hell, I remember back when we were doing website design, you could actually charge like you know five to ten thousand dollars for for a really simple website. You know, this was only like four four or five years ago. But you know, things change so fast in in this whole world that we live in. And what hell, six months is a lifetime. So these are the things that we originally were doing, and we charge fees for our time. You know, it might be five hundred dollars a month to do this type of SEO. We do you know a couple hours here, a couple hours there. Uh, maybe three thousand dollars to do this type of you know SEO for for a website. I mean, we might do a video and charge a few hundred dollars for it. I mean, these are the kinds of things that that I was doing. In, in, this is before there even had there was even a term called offline marketing or anything like that. Uh, we just did all these types of things. We charge a fee for them now. Here was the, 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 the crux of the situation is that the clients owned everything and really left us powerless. And, you know, that wasn't a very comfortable position to be in. I remember one point uh, before I even met Dan, I had well over 100 clients. And each one of them was average, you know, paying me around average of $500 to $800 a month. And I, I was making bank. And I was doing really well. But I was powerless. I had over a hundred bosses at that time, and I was doing all this internet marketing consulting service, and I had over a hundred people that were, you know, bossing me around all waking hours of the day, and they owned and controlled everything. And really, I I just had, you know, a a really high paying job. That was awesome and everything. But you know, I met Dan, and we had we'd been working on on several things together. And we decided, you know, it was time to really flip the model. All right. So with that, let me ask you guys a quick question. Uh, what is a digital asset? All right. Just type it in the chat box real quick. What you think a digital asset is, and and kind of give us an, your quick definition of digital asset, because this word has been thrown around a lot more lately than it ever has. Can you see uh, what anybody's typing in there, Dan? Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> there, there's a delay. <laughs> Something digital that makes you money. Okay, that's a good answer. Website, website software, etc. Own product, digital products, website that creates money and has value. Uh, anything online, internet-based, videos, email marketing, something that makes you money online. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's those are all correct answers because at the end of the day, what we have noticed, and and this this is part of the evolution we're taking along, is that. When we were simply doing what we were doing as quote unquote offline marketers doing a, an internet marketing service in exchange for our time and getting paid for that, we were really just a service provider and we did not have any kind of asset at all. There was no asset. There was no value in our business. I mean, really, I mean, it, we, we had an income. We really just had a high paying job. No different than if I had stopped doing all that crap and then went to work for an ad agency. They were, that was paying me a salary. Okay, there was really no difference. I mean, if I were working at that ad agency, getting paid a salary, I have no ownership in anything other than the quote-unquote security of that job. Right? I mean, there's really no asset. There's nothing I can turn around and sell for anything or, or have have possession of. Right? Does that make sense, everybody? Cool. All right. So there's there's really this this idea. Uh, that there's a huge difference between having something physical versus digital. And really the truth is we like to look at digital assets as something that is no different than what you would have physically. So whether I had a piece of actual vacation rental property that I rented out, and that's actually a physical piece of property, or a very valuable digital asset, you know, it could be just a lead generation page that's getting leads that, that a business is paying for, well, either which way, I have something of value that someone wants to pay me for. So, hey, one one just simply has a lot more legal problems, all right, that physical property versus the other, which is something I create out of thin air. Now, here's here's why we made this transition from being service providers. Okay, because instead of wanting to work for anyone as vendors, we turned our services into assets turned into our property, our effort, something we own and control that generates a cash flow. And for those of you who are familiar with I mean, man, this is what, three, four years ago now, uh, Google Love, that uh, was something uh, that was released, you know, uh, like three, four years ago. And that 
was really are the start of it all for us, and we called these lease sites. We would create these types of things where we would, we would build a website, do SEO, have it to where it's getting good leads, and it was ours, and we leased it out. All right, and that's was really how we got started. In this simple example I means yeah, build simple website, get it ranked, get leads, lease it out for a thousand a month, and this is instead of doing all the same stuff as a service where we're merely trading our work or time for money. Now, for a couple of years, we moved from clients to lease sites. I remember very clearly when we were at this point where we were replacing clients that were, you know, that were owning and controlling all their stuff that we were just kind of hired guns for to replacing all that business. And I remember the freedom it gave us. And we had been able to transform to have over $300,000 in annual business just from those types of sites, just from those lease sites, and using the same internet marketing practices we would use in anything else, but for assets that we own and control. And we started sharing those strategies, like I mentioned Google of, with the public, and then you know that, that was when we started using the term digital assets. Very few were using it at that time. Now it's, we hear that term all, all the time. But this is where things got a little tricky for us, and I, want, I don't know if this is the same for you guys. Feel free to chime in any time in that chat box there. But we started to see the lines getting really blurred uh, once we started moving from this. Because here we are, on one end, we are internet marketers who are creating these lease sites, these digital assets that we called them at the time, and we're generating income doing what an internet marketer does best. That's you know sending traffic to a converting page and then selling it, and that's what we were doing with it. And then we turned around and started teaching other people how to do what we were doing, and now we're actually creating another type of thing. It's an info product, teaching other people how to do what we're doing successfully there. So lines start getting really blurred for us because we're trying to say, well, right now I'm an offline marketer. Okay, let me take that hat off, and now I'm an online marketer. Okay, let me take that hat off because now I have this list. Now I'm an affiliate marketer. You guys see where this gets kind of confusing after a while when you're trying to run a business where you think you're running multiple businesses under one roof? Yes or no? Is that making sense? Anybody yeah, else? Yeses. Okay, cool. So here's the evolution for us because here we are working offline and online all at once, being affiliate marketers and product marketers and, and, and digital asset land. And lords, I mean, we're doing all these damn things. And on one end, we have our lease sites, and we have a couple clients we kept. And on the other, we're getting really good at building a big audience with our strategies. We're getting really good at working with joint venture partners and working in all kinds of different things online. And really, we, we start to discover that both ends of this are very profitable. But it gets to where it becomes so confusing, we got stuck. And it felt like we had reached this growth ceiling, and the only way to push through seemed like we had to really just beef up our business and hire a bunch more people and get a bunch of staff. And any of you who, who know us at all know that we prefer to be, be a little bit you know, simpler, lazier, as Dan likes to call it. We don't, we don't really like to have to do any more than we have to. And uh, let me ask, anybody here enjoy managing other people? If you say yes, that's awesome. I want to, does anybody here say yes to that? Anybody here enjoy managing other people? Is that like, <laughs> no, do you wake up in the morning and say, man, I can't wait to deal with other people's bullshit? Is that the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Probably not. It's not us anyway. That's not, that's not the cloth I'm cut from or Dan's cut from. But there are people who, who love that shit, and that, that's just not me, okay? And that's not Dan. So here's, here's what hit us, like, a, like just a ton of bricks eight, about 18 months ago. I mean, it took us a while to really evolve to this point and figure out and become absolutely clear that this thing was sitting right for, for our faces. And it was a simple mistake as defining digital assets the wrong way. We had been defining digital assets as lease sites. And we, just, we already talked about this, but what is a digital asset really? It is a digital product that generates revenue. Simple as that. That is the simplest answer we can give you in just this, this very e easy transition in our thinking helped us evolve our business to a much better place and much easier to manage because, remember earlier I asked you what label you wore and why those labels were holding you back. Now, this is why those labels are holding you back. The odds are you are a digital asset investor. That's really your true nature, what you are. You're an entrepreneur, and you, you, you 
Those are one stream or maybe two streams of investments in digital assets. That could be you're doing affiliate products and you're driving traffic. You could be doing lead generation. It doesn't matter. The nuts and bolts are the same, guys. And I mean, that's what we had to finally realize. Like, holy shit, we're doing the same stuff. We just, we're just identifying it differently and acting differently to each thing. Is it lease side digital asset? Yes. In fact, it is a product. We just turned a product, a service, into a product that we own. That's it. I mean, it's no different than if we were to create a software, or a course, or a lease site, or whatever you want to call it. They are all digital assets. Does that make sense? Or I'm moving too fast. Now we're getting lots of yeses. Cool. And for us, obviously, it all started with virtual real estate. So this is where we come in with the short story of zero to 50k in 30 days. Did anybody follow this by the way? I'm just curious if anybody uh, happened to, to follow this at all. And yeses. Okay, cool. So knowing what we know, we decided to do a little experiment. Um, I, I guess you know you can call it boredom or, or whatever, curiosity, but I decided Personally, we were, we were actually hanging out in San Diego, and I told Dan, I'm like, you know, dude, I just want to take a break from the business for a month. Uh, you, know, you know, kind of just walk away and, and just do, do nothing, but start from scratch. Pretend like, you know, I, I have had no success online. I don't have a list, just as, as though I were just a complete newbie, only knowing what I know in my brain, not what assets or, or advantages I physically hold on to. You know, that includes the, our, our contacts and the, you know, the influential things that we have, you know, as, as an advantage in the marketplace, right? So I wanted to just kind of prove that I could do it for nothing. And my plan was, okay, I'm just going to start like, you know, any person that's, that's, a, that's new with this with a thousand dollar budget, okay? Um, because honestly, guys, if you're going to go and start a new business and you don't have a thousand dollar budget, you've got negative, uh, you know, negative balance or whatever, probably not the best time to start a business, but you know, no, no judgment, but I, I was just looking at this from the most, most pragmatic standpoint I could, okay, I got a $1,000 budget and I'm not allowed to use any unfair advantages I have, like I said, no context, can't, we can't just, you know, obviously like, I can, we can make $50,000 just sending, you know, doing affiliate offers to our list, I mean, there's, there, that, that would be unfair, right, because that's an unfair advantage, so I have to act like I've got none of these things. And I could only take what I knew or could be readily and easily acquired. So I looked at the virtual real estate. Obviously, that's something that, that is easy to do. And so rather than buy physical property, I created some digital property. Why? Because, you know, it's, it's all the whole thing we, we mentioned. It's services versus assets and trading versus leveraging time. Look, in 30 days, you only have so much time to do so much shit. You, you don't have time to build up this you know, empire type business, you have time to really just go for the low hanging fruit and get it done. So you really don't have time to go through this whole process of servicing a client. So obviously, and, and hell, I don't want to do that anyway. I don't want to be trading my time for money ever. If, if anybody here wants to trade your time for money, you are in the wrong business, man. That's just like, that's just the worst thing I can imagine. That's like my, my version of hell. Okay, I want to leverage everything and be able to get there quickly. So that's where digital property came, came in. And, and so why would anybody pay for a digital property, this virtual real estate? And let, let me just show you real quick, okay? This is an example we've used time and time again. We're going to show you some examples specifically from, the, from what we did in the 30 days, what I did there. But a lot, we've shown this example several times. You've probably seen it before if you've followed us at all. Um, this Irvine Custom Pool Builder. If you type in Irvine Custom Pool Builder, you'll see that this is one simple virtual real estate property that is ranked, I mean, just dominating page one of Google. I mean, it's not even, a, it's not even anything crazy. It's not some big, you know, 500 page website or anything like that. It's actually what, like a three to five page website. It's really a one page site that's got the same page duplicated like five times, right? I mean, there's nothing, nothing crazy about it. But what, what's the purpose of this? Why would anybody pay for this? Because a pool builder wouldn't want to get these leads. Somebody's searching for having a pool built in Irvine, and what does it cost to build a pool? I mean, it costs well over 10 grand. I mean, 30 grand is, is a pretty normal price range for a gunite pool to be built. So what is this lead worth to somebody? Would somebody pay for a steady stream of leads 
some pool builder Irvine for this. Absolutely. And here's another really cool part. This is a, another tool we have. We, we call this a leveraged asset. Basically, this is a tool that we have on there that helps generate leads. It's an instant price quote calculator. When somebody enters in to get their instant quote on a pool, they enter in their email. And that's we, we are able to grab that and give that to whoever is paying for this digital asset, right? So do you think a pool builder will pay $500 a month for a steady stream of leads that are worth as much as 30 grand or more? Yes or no? Getting yeses? Yes. Yep. Awesome. Yeses, awesome. Yes. Good. Good. I just want to make sure we're on the same page because this is where the value is and this is where I struggle. That's why I like talking to an educated group of people that understand the, the whole world of digital marketing in general because look, that, this is exactly why. They, are, they want those leads. These leads have a value. It's no different than, than what you see you know, big businesses paying for for billboards on the highway. Those billboards, I know in the Dallas area on, on certain highways, cost as much as 20 to 30 grand any given month. So we know that businesses want to be visible, and be, especially when it's generating leads for them. That's direct. So that's no brainer. Now, I do have a quick confession because I did have one slightly unfair competitive advantage. I knew I could do it, <laughs> okay? I mean, really, that's the only unfair competitive advantage. I already knew I could do it because I'd done it before. Because the one thing I couldn't take away from myself was the knowledge that, you know, I could do, could or couldn't do it, okay? I think this is where a lot of people, you know, when they're really wanting to level up in their business, it's that confidence factor. Well, I already knew I had it, and so I already had a plan. I, in my head, it's like, I know exactly what I need to do. You guys want to see the plan? So you can copy this? Yep, get lots of yeses. All right, here we go. So like I said, I, I, I knew I could use virtual real estate to generate $50,000 in closed deals. And the reason I knew that is because I knew I could just simply reverse engineer it. I could re completely reverse engineer it and take the stress out of it. So this is where I really want you to get your 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 note-taking device out, okay, because I don't know how the hell you guys take notes. Some of you type it in, some of you write. I like to write. So take your notes here. This is important. Okay, so let's start with $50,000. This is how we're engineering this. All right, this is literally the process I went through. And I just looked at it as, okay, what can I get for a digital asset on a monthly basis? And $600 to $1,200 is easy enough. That's what I wrote down. I, let's just call it $900 as a simple average, okay? Now, with a 12-month deal, any given opportunity I'm able to get in just doing this for this one type of digital asset, I'm able to, to get a revenue value of about $10,800, okay? So, five deals, I, I definitely break 50 grand, right? Did I get the math right there? So if I just get five deals in 30 days, I will break $50,000. That's it. So, I mean, it really made it a lot less stressful because I wasn't just thinking of, oh, I'm going to do all this shit and hope $50,000 sticks to the wall. It's like, no, I know, I know my numbers. I know exactly, okay, my first number is 50 grand. Okay, the next number chunking this thing down is $900 a month over 12 months has a $10,800 value. Five of those deals helps me break past the 50 grand in revenue generated just like that. So all I needed to do at this point was manage the right activity to get slightly better than one deal per week. Does that sound as stressful? Because So when we first started talking about this, okay, to you guys, about $50,000 in 30 days, did that sound a little stressful? If I said, hey, you have to go out and make, you have to go out and make $50,000 in 30 days. Does that sound a little stressful, that first thing? Probably yes. Now, if I, after going through this reverse engineering process of understanding, hey, I just got to get better than one simple deal a week, does that sound a little less stressful, a little more realistic and easy to achieve? Yes or no? Yes. Because we, we're not dealing with some, some big number anymore. Now we're just dealing with a small number, one chunk at a time, right? So that's all, that's all I had to do. I had to just make a plan to be able to get one deal, just a little bit better than one deal a week. Okay, so activity, that's all I had to really do. I had to focus on the activity that gets that desired result of better than one deal a week. And I have 100% complete control of activity. You have 100% complete control of your activity. So I knew I needed to quickly do some research, set up some assets, get it in front of prospects, 
get some hands raised and put an offer in front of them. All right, all of all these things, I have 100% control. All right, these things are in my control. Nobody else controls the research. I do. Nobody else controls setting up an asset. I do. All right, nobody else controls getting in front of prospects. I do. Nobody else has control of of trying to get hands raised. I do. I can't control who raises their hand and how often they do, but I can control the activity that it takes to make that happen, right? And then when I once I get those hands raised, I have control of putting an offer in front of them and asking for money, right? I mean, did, are any of those things out of my control, completely out of my control? But, you know, assuming I don't step outside and lightning hits me in the face, right? I mean, really, none of those things are out of my control. So these are the, the actions I knew I had to take in order to move forward to making $50,000 in sales in only 30 days. Now, let me ask you, if I replicate this plan, that simple plan I just showed you, that's just one simple plan, every month for six months, it is completely feasible to generate a very chill income of a quarter million dollars plus a year. Now, I'm not saying you will do this, okay? Our, our lawyer said we had to add that, okay? So there you go, for entertainment purposes only, all right? <laughs> and the reason I did this was to be able to demonstrate to myself that if all hell broke loose, I could start from scratch anytime and keep going, and that's pretty comforting for me. Uh, so let me ask you guys, do you want to dive a little deeper in this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So guys, I'm, I will just shut my mouth if you, you know, we can let Rich tell jokes if we want to. All right. <laughs> so let's talk about how deals are done, okay? Because I know that's a question that, that I get sometimes for, for some folks that were watching along the challenge. And here's really, I didn't do anything complicated. We want to look at, at anything we do in, in digital assets. Right now, I'm specifically talking about, you know, the virtual. We'll talk about other types. We'll talk specifically about three different types of digital assets. Um, this is just one of them. But in this 30-day thing, this is exactly what I did. I, I looked for low competition, high value, all right, no poodle fluffers. We wanted to avoid all poodle fluffing. And this, this is something that we apply to anything we do. If we create, if we create a, a software product that we're going to release to the public, we want to make sure that it's something that's unique. So, the, there's, is, so we're creating a space that has low competition but also high value. So we don't want to go and create something that is of, of the market's too small or too broke or it's not valuable enough to do. So that's why we say no proof for. So in this example, yeah, I'm obviously not going to create a lease site about poodle fluffing, you know, for ten dollars per fluff, right? I mean that's just ridiculous. I didn't have to be a shitload of poodle fluffing going on to justify somebody paying me nine hundred or thousand dollars a month for that. I mean, they'd have to get like a hundred leads a day. I don't want that. I want to, I want to be able to sell something where, I, you know what, if, if I'm just getting you two or three leads a week, you're happy because what you're doing is so valuable that you don't need a lot of deals. You don't need a lot of turnover in order to justify it. That's why the pool builder example is so great. One thirty thousand dollar deal. I mean, hell, so if they're paying me a thousand dollars a month and they're getting Hell, just one deal every other month, okay? They're just getting enough leads to close an extra client every other month. That is insane ROI for them. So that's high value, low competition, all right? So like I said, if you can't justify the investment, don't. And then, you know, and when it comes to lead generation or when you're localizing, you want to set quality geographical targets, okay? Just like Goldilocks, just right. Uh, I, I, we've seen this mistake made for a lot of people that will either go for something that is like, you know, a population size of, of 10 million that's just too big and it's too crowded and just brings up that competition level, or they go too damn small. They're like, oh, I, well, I picked a really winnable thing where it's only like it's a town of only 120 people. Well, goddamn, those 120 people probably aren't, aren't looking for anything very often. So you've got to find that just right balance. And then, really, here's the here's the trick. Here's how we're able to leverage this, and in anything we do, and we we're, we just prove it, and then we sell. If we can just prove it, then we can take that and leverage it and scale it up. And that's how we pre-sell. So let me give you an example. I'll tell you real quick. Is 
we went into a cosmetic surgeon niche. That's what I, I targeted in the 30 day challenge. I'm going to show you some of those sites in a moment. We went into that niche and all I had to do was create proof. So, so in other words, I had to create proof in, in, you know, in a, in a Southern California city to start. And then I was able to go to other cities. You know, I was able to go from that Southern California city to different towns and cities in Texas and Colorado and in Florida and sell the same thing, saying, look, this is what it is. I already got this. This is done. I replicated it in your market. So I'm pre-selling it. I'm not even creating it. I'm collecting the money before I even do it. So that's the key. And that's how I had to do it because I don't have 30 days to book enough deals. And, you know, I didn't want to just sit there wasting my time on nuts and bolts. Make sense? Cool. All right. Let's talk about that whole proof thing. Okay, once I have the proof, I just want to get hands raised. And this is how. There are two ways. Two ways I get hands raised uh, off, off some of this. This is exactly what I did. There's no deviation from this in what I did in those 30 days. It's first, just good old-fashioned prospecting. What does that mean? That means actually, okay, if I'm trying to sell this thing to a pool builder in Irvine, guess that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to look up and see who the pool builders in Irvine are, and I'm going to find their email addresses or contact information. I'm going to contact them. I mean, that, I mean really, it, that's, that sounds ridiculous, right? But I'm actually going to reach out and try to sell this thing, okay? Uh, and then second, hey, this is the way, you know, this is, this is great when I'm feeling like, uh, feeling like wearing my, my hat that says I like to live in mom's basement and never talk to another human being ever. I just use paid traffic with Facebook, okay? So that allows me just to stay in mom's basement, never have to talk to another human being ever, and just uh, be able to get my offer out there in front of them. So in the 30-day challenge, I only gave myself about one to two hours each day to prospecting. That's it. I, I, I treated this as though I were like any person out there that had a full-time job and was trying to transition. So I only allowed myself one to two hours a day to work on prospecting. So guess what that requires? Focused frickin' effort. All right, let's talk about that paid traffic because I know that's a question that, that comes up a lot. It's really not complicated when you just understand targeting. I kept things really simple. I am not by any means an expert at Facebook traffic or paid traffic, okay? In fact, doing this process, those 30 days, actually kind of made me an expert because it forced me to focus really down on simple single niches and geographic targets, I mean, very specific and, and keeping it simple. So all I was doing was sending them to a page to get a hand raised. My only goal is to get a hand raised so that I can go and close a sale. That is my only goal. And guys, this what I'm telling you right here, right now, if, if you labeled yourself as any type of person, whether you labeled yourself as an affiliate marketer, a product marketer, an offline marketer, a local marketer, whatever, that should always be your goal as a marketer, is to get a freaking hand raised, okay? And in this instance, getting a hand raised was to ultimately sell a $900 to $1,000 plus per month lease site, right? So let's, let's look at what it looks like, okay? This is, this is literally what I sent most people to. As I mentioned, I focused in on cosmetic surgeons because, hey, that there's money there in that niche, and uh, people kept saying how, the, uh, how that was overcrowded and it would never work, so I said, well, go to hell. I'm going to show you that you can still make it work. <laughs> so so this, is, this is all I did. I had a simple ad that basically said how, how to triple your inquiries overnight with one powerful solution. See the demo. And this is all they did. I sent them to this instant quote machine, this instant quote builder. All right, it just does an instant quote calculation. I literally sent these cosmetic surgeons that I targeted in, in paid traffic to this so they can see it for themselves what their customers would see. And they would go through it and guess what? They had to put their email in and it had a call to action there. This worked. Was it, was it like, you know, was I getting 20 calls every hour? No. It's getting enough to actually sell the damn thing and that's all I needed. I didn't have to have bigger than a, a, I wasn't running more than like $10 a day budget for the most part. I think a couple days I went up to $20 or whatever. But for the most part, I was keeping it really simple, really targeted, and this, is, this was it. It wasn't anything else fancy to it beyond this. I tested all kinds of things, and this is what worked. I was able to, to grab an email, follow up with them. Sometimes they'd pick up the phone and call me even better. Those were the ones that, that liked to close quickly. But my job was to get hands raised, and that's my job 
every time I market something. That's your job every time you market something is to get a hand raised. Okay? So you guys want to see some, some proof and actual examples of some of these assets that we built? Getting lots of no's. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. <kidding>. Well, <laughs> that concludes yes. All right. So let's start with the results. All right. I, I set up two proof assets in the very first week to attract cosmetic surgeons, as I mentioned. I set up a demo for the leveraged asset. That was the lead machine. That was one of the things I was doing. I was literally just letting people demonstrate that and selling that without having to set up anything else. I was literally just selling that calculator for a monthly fee. And that, I mean, that's pretty badass. All I had to do was just add a button to their website and charge them a monthly fee for the calculator. But hey, it's getting them leads because it's allowing them to get more leads from the traffic they got. Now, throughout the journey, I did not spend my full thousand dollars. I spent just under eight hundred dollars, and most of that was actually after I was already profitable. I was profitable, I think, um, within the first like nine or ten days. I already like you know hit like over ten grand in, in sales. So I was pretty uh, a pretty good track there. Now, what I spent most of it on was tools, themes, and Facebook ads. And let's talk about deals closed. All right, after all was said and done, I did over $60,000 in deals in 30 days. And again, not saying these results are typical or promising anyone could do it like this, but it was very easy for me. And what I just shared with you was my exact process for engineering that. It was starting with that number and then understanding how many deals I needed to close. The guys, when you have numbers that you are working from and you know what they are, you're, and you're talking to somebody that hates numbers, by the way, but when you actually have that information, you know, okay, how many X's you need to accomplish Y, you know, once you have that, the activity you have to do becomes very clear. I think when people are dealing in the abstract, when it's just this big number, $50,000 in 30 days, well, hell, that's when it becomes really easy to chase every single shiny object out there that will never get you to your goal because you've never set forward with a plan. Okay? So here's you know, how we structured it. When, when I got a hand raised, uh, it, I would just explain to, to the prospect, okay, you want to set this up, you want to get this, this, this asset, all right, you want to get this from me? It's $1,000 to set it up, all right? It may take four to eight weeks to set this up for you, and there's a $1,200 monthly fee involved. Now, here's where I really, I knew I had to make deals fast. So I quickly offered people that I would totally waive the setup fee, and if they just paid $3,000 for the next three months, they got it. So I was literally just asking $3,000 per quarter or $1,200 a month and waiving the setup fee. And that's how I actually closed deals pretty quickly on the phone, collected their credit card number, payment information right there on the spot, and was off and running. Really, I was there to get to a decision and get done. I mean, and that was the goal. Every time I got on the phone or got any opportunity from somebody who raised their hand, my goal was to get to a decision as quickly as possible. And then no decision is perfectly fine. I had no problem hearing people say no. And my only problem was hearing people say, I got to think about it. I would just force them to say no. I mean, that, I mean, that's just me. I'm impatient like that. I'd much rather hear no than I don't know or I got to think about it. It's like, okay, I just want a decision, yes or no. Cool? All right, am I going too fast or are you guys good? Nope, good. All right, cool. All right, so here is one of those sample sites we built, all right? I looked at you know some different areas. Remember that whole Goldilocks things. So Newport Beach, all right, very very affluent part of Southern California. So great proving ground uh, for for anything in nose job surgery or rhinoplasty surgery. And we we really you know have done this so many times that I knew if I just went after those buyer searches or those buyer keywords like estimates or quotes or prices, those are buyers. So I'm like, okay, those are quality leads. So if I could prove to cosmetic surgeons that this can be done uh, very easily and very quickly, then it's easy to get those hands raised. And look, the assets look nothing, nothing much different than this. This is it. I mean, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, uh, using our exact methods that we know. But you remember, my whole thing was it has to be something that that is easy to do or you can easily learn it or achieve it. And that's exactly what I did. No voodoo magic or anything crazy. So 
boom, there we go. I was able to build enough proof in some different markets. I even did uh, one that was more of a national or, or, or global market, which we have since actually got seen more results because we've actually beefed this up with some other stuff. But anyway, I won't go there yet. But look, same thing. Do you guys see any difference between those sites? Two different targeting completely different keywords and completely different markets. Any difference in those sites? That's why we love leverage so much, guys. We are able to rep replicate this over and over and over again. So that's why I knew I could hit my goal of 50K in 30 days. All right, let's talk about that, those blurred lines a little bit more because I showed you one type of digital asset. Whoops, hold on. There I go and screw up and hit the back button. I'm going to blame Dan for that. Yeah, you don't have to be smart to do this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that simple 30-day challenge, I used one single digital asset strategy, and that was all about creating and leverage something that we know has high value, something that will generate revenue out of thin air that we own and control. So question, after going through that and giving you the kind of that, that one blueprint, is that exact strategy limited to only local virtual real estate or lease sites? Is it limited to that, that exact strategy? Let's, let's hear you guys. Nope, of course not. Got to be unlimited. <laughs> so remember how we talked about the evolution of our own business from offline to online? Well, once we were able to redefine digital assets, like I talked about just a few minutes ago, everything for us got a lot easier and growth has taken off. So currently, as of right now, we're on track towards seven figures a month. And I don't say that to brag. I really don't. I say that because there was a time when it felt like that would be impossible to achieve without having like a staff of 100 people. It really did. Uh, we did not know how the hell we would get there until we just realized, hey, it's, uh, it's about simplifying things, about really redefining some things and understanding and looking at things a different way. And we're not beefing up heavily. We, we operate on a team of less than five people. Uh, we, we, we are lean, and it's not like and Dan and I don't work 100-hour weeks. I mean, we, we work hard, but we also spend a lot of time with our family doing things we like. So it's been really rewarding for us to be able to do that. And so this, this is how we were able to put it together. We just stopped defining what we do is offline versus online. So the first thing I want to encourage you guys to do right now is remember the very first thing we talked about was the, were those labels is start removing those labels and just wear, wear a simpler label all right we are marketers better yet we are marketers who build digital assets or here's one we love we're digital investors okay I mean does that make sense to everybody that you are a digital investor that every asset you're creating or working on or building that's generating some sort of revenue for you is part of your investment portfolio. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Yep. All right, cool. So here's the blueprint, and this is something that we have been able to put onto everything we do. All right, this is everything. So I want you to think about what you might be working on right now. It might be something that you've just got done working on or, or thinking about doing and, and maybe it's a product maybe it's an affiliate promotion maybe it's something for lead gen for a client whatever just go ahead and imagine it right now what you what you've been working on or trying to work on the first thing is we always have to be clear on the topic the industry or segment in which we are selling something right I mean that's that's step one and everything well with that well now we have we have the asset that we are delivering to that crowd, to that segment, right? Okay, we must generate interest, get hands raised. Okay, that's, that's really our biggest job. Once we understand the, the market and have something to sell to that market, okay, whether you're selling something to cosmetic surgeons or you're selling an, an info product to a bunch of in, internet marketers, once you understand that, you've got to get those hands raised. Or what are the hands raised tonight? You guys are sitting on this webinar. You're watching this webinar right now. That's the hand raise, right? I mean, that's the hand raise. Somebody sent you an email. You join this webinar. You are here. You are listening to 
to me and to Dan and to Rich telling jokes, okay? That's the, that's the interest, okay? Now, once you have that interest, then it's distributing and selling. Okay, that's where, hey, there's the buy button, buy it now, all right, or here's the, here's the offer. Remember, I just showed you just an example a second ago about the, how I put together a deal for this cosmetic surgeons where I waived a setup fee and put an offer in front of them to make a decision. Well, that's, that's the selling and distribution right there. Well, they, they say yes to that. Now i got to deliver it, all right? Once I deliver it, then it's my opportunity to scale and repeat, okay? Now... This is very simple, but do not let that fool you into thinking that this isn't the blueprint to everything you're doing as a digital asset investor. Agree or disagree? Agree. Yes. Cool. Cool. I'm always up for a good debate. Okay, so now this is how this is translated into our business, and it really, and, and we talk, we're talking a lot about money here, but this is really what it's about. It's about what you can do to help others achieve what they want, okay, because otherwise you're not in business. If you are, if you are just selling shit to sell shit, you're only going to get by so far, but if you are selling stuff to people that have a higher perceived value of what they're getting out of it from what they're paying you for, that's where you win. That's where they win. That's what it's all about. We want to sell stuff to people, and they have a big, just as big a smile on their face buying it as we do selling it. That's a win-win right there. So in lease sites, what is this achievement that people will gladly, with a smile on their face, pay for? Quick answer, guys. Leads, more business. Leads, exactly. All right, so when, when we sell software that builds websites quickly, what are the results people are paying for? Saving time, efficiency. When we have a training program showing a method to build lease sites, what is the result people are paying for? To be able to learn and do it, right? When we have a group coaching program or a mastermind focused on growing business, what's the result people are paying for and are doing so with a smile? to gain clarity and guidance and to get to their goals more quickly from qualified mentors. So in every single thing we're looking at here, it's all about what we're helping others achieve, what you can help others achieve. That's how you get hands raised. That's how you do your most important job as a marketer and digital investor. It's by helping others achieve what they want. So if you are able to get them from point A to point B more quickly, all right, more efficiently, or in an easier way, then you are going to win. So let's talk about how these all connect. Let's connect these dots real quick. All right? Like we said, you're not an offline marketer, an online marketer, an affiliate marketer. You are a marketer and a digital investor. And the faster you realize that this exact same process is applicable to all digital assets, the faster you'll be able to diversify and simplify your business. All right, you guys want us to show you the three ways you can do this without total chaos. Yeah? I'm going to do it anyway, whether you want me to or not. How about that? How about that? How about that? All right. So first is virtual real estate. All right. We already talked about that. That's the lease site. Get targeted leads. It's simple. The second is productized assets. We also call this a leveraged asset. You saw that little quote calculator. That's one example of that. Okay? It's not necessarily something that's getting leads or traffic. It's just simply a resource that might help a company or individual. This could also be an info product. This could also be something that you, you create in a simple software solution and you sell on a webinar like this one. This could be a lot of different things. It's just a product asset. You know, it's, it's something that can keep selling in, in a digital manner, meaning you can literally have a buy button on a web page somewhere and people can keep buying it. All right, whether or not you get on the phone or talk to anybody or not is, isn't always going to be relevant. That's a productized asset, okay? But either which way, it's a resource you own and control. Then we have what we call leveraged service asset. Now, this is kind of a, a tricky one because the word service is in there. Well, the reason we still like this is it does require a level of service, but it's because it can be the most profitable of all the things. This can be group coaching, mentoring, mastermind programs, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one service, okay? This is where you're leveraging your time. You're working with many 
all at once. So it's like, you know, you might have 30 people you're working with, but it's as if you're working with one, okay? So there's your, there's your lease site, okay? We already talked about that. Build the site, get it ranked, lease it out, wash, rinse, repeat. Now, productized assets, this could be software, it could be a digital info product, it could be someone else's product that you can distribute. This is something that's really cool. This is something that, that Dan and I have done quite a bit and has been one of the biggest parts of our business lately is someone else's product that you can distribute. That is pretty powerful right there because, hey, what if there's some really awesome software out there that somebody has built and the, the developer just doesn't know how to get it to market. What's your, what's your biggest job as a digital investor? Let's see, check me and see if you've been listening. What's your most important thing you're supposed to be doing as a marketer and digital investor? Hmm. Make money, marketing, market, raise those hands. hands yeah, raise. there it is. Get those hands raised. So somebody might have created an awesome software, but they suck at getting those hands raised. But you know all the nuts and bolts to do that. You know all the pieces and you get that because you are a digital investor. You understand that process of getting hands raised. So we call these types of things record and publishing deals. And at the end of the day, none of this stuff is any different than, than just lease site. They're all the same. You, get, you pick a niche, you get distribution set up, you deliver it, you scale it. Okay. The only difference is how we and you probably used to think about it and that's really what's changed here okay now what are the steps involved in, in this kind of thing it's no different all right because for anything you're doing it's not going to be much different than lease sites or affiliate offers or anything else the one thing we like is we, we love it when nothing has to count on Google to get any results right so we just look at we look at the industry we look at where there's a need and what people are buying. We create it, and then we reach partners to get distribution. And that's really it. We reach those partners who already have the hands that need to be raised. That's one quick and easy way. Look right now. Okay, let's just peel back the curtain where we're sitting right now. Rich Willens is that partner to help us distribute this awesome program that we're going to be offering to you guys at the end of this program. Okay, that is, I mean, that that's what's happening right here, right now. All right, Rich Willens is that partner to help in the hand raising of this distribution process that we are involved in at this very moment. Pretty cool, right? To be inside the magic trick as you're being taught the magic trick. Okay, step five: sell it and deliver it. That's it's really that simple. All right, so let's talk about leveraged service assets. But this is this is where I, I know you know we used to to kind of say, ah, we're not going to get involved in that until we realized that this could be something that did two very important things for us because it was actually one of, one of my mentors uh, said this to me and I, I'll never forget it. Dan and I were so set on, hey, we're going to do these types of products and, you know, we have these types of, of things and basically everything we've done had built a wall around us. Um, you know, like, okay, we have all these gatekeepers everywhere in place and we, we might sell a software to the public and then we might have these, you know, these lead generation sites releasing out to these clients. But either which way, there's no service happening. There's no, I'm going to get on the phone and talk to you. I mean, very rarely. I mean, so what my mentor told me is like, look, you've got these people you care about. You're obviously delivering things that are helping their business. And there are people out there that you are completely letting down by not allowing them a way to get higher level access working with you. And it really, it really rang true. I mean, it was like, oh, wow, I'm actually screwing people over by not charging them a shitload of money to, to, to work with me in a group setting and Dan with a group setting. I mean, it's, it was true because I've, I've been there where I wanted to pay a mentor to go further and do all this. So that's where leveraged service assets come in play. And this is where we can do group training programs. We work with a very limited number of people, but it's still more than one. And we're able to, to treat it as though we're just dealing with one single group. This could be group mentorship that we could do online even. It could be a three-week training program. We can do lots of different things. We like to do you know, simple one, two, or three-day events like this. But it's really no different than any other digital asset. Because if I'm, if I'm doing an online training program where I'm actually 
you know, Dan and I are actually sitting there doing videos and training people stuff. Well, my, hey, why don't we do it with a you know live audience of ten and do the same thing and have that interactivity and that and that ability to work together a little bit. So really, it's stuff we would be doing anyway. It's just we're leveraging it out to to be able to work at a higher level with some people with an audience that we can serve. And so we we can do that. The big difference is we can charge just as much as we do to do one on one. Only we're able to work with several people at once. Right? Example. Let's, let's peel back the curtain again. All right, we did a we we've done uh, several group coachings. We only do them uh, a couple times a year at at best. Um, we don't always do them, but the reason is what I said about my mentor saying we got to do that kind of stuff uh, just to serve better. But let's talk about the numbers behind it because we invited twelve people at between four and five thousand dollars each to work with us for four weeks and. Look, we work with them to to diagnose, you know, one on one originally to kind of figure out what's going on, get them started, and then from there it's all leveraged, and it's not really just for our benefit; it's for theirs too, because there is a magical thing that happens when you are working with a group process when you have more than one mind, you know, working on things together. And so every week we show them exactly what to do to move towards their goal, which far exceeds the investment they made. And every week we did a group Q and A call, and you know when someone needs help, we get on the phone with them. Absolutely, but it's not it's not a time thing; it's a need thing. So that's the difference. Is is we're not saying, oh, you're paying us to get on this one call every week at this time scheduled for this. Hey, you know if if they're on their way and they're moving and shaking and getting shit done and having some fun, the last thing they want to do is get on a call that they don't have to get on, right? So. This alone brought us in $55,000 and required less than 15 hours of our time commitment. And even better, and this is the key, so far all our students, or most of them that we've reported anyway, have brought in at least double of what they've invested in us. So I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. It's about giving and being able to leverage your time. So these people were able to get something from us, we were able to get paid really well. For, for what we did, and we weren't sacrificing all our time to help them out. All right, so let's look at the, how this type of model has helped some specific students and mastermind members. Okay, one of our many successful students, Mike, who's a recent student of ours, used this exact strategy and ended up selling a leveraged asset that generated nearly a hundred thousand dollars sales in sales in under a week. Another of those is Aaron. And he used this type of strategy and created an asset out of thin air and was able to generate over $17,000 in 72 hours. And this is what it means to level up and play their game. Here's a, here's a screen, screenshot of Mike's. What was that, five days, Dan? Yep, five days. Look at the numbers right there. Five Crazy. days, $104,000. And, you know, again, results not typical, right? But, but <laughs> this has really happened. And so, I mean, this is, so we have to, we have, we'd love to brag on people that we've worked with and, and seen do this kind of stuff. All right, so let me ask you guys. Are you ready to level up and get the complete blueprint? Yes? Let's hear some hell yeses. Good. Good. Because we've put together the easiest to follow and most powerful program on digital asset domination you've ever seen. This is absolutely guaranteed to push you forward by huge strides and it's a complete building block program that will take you from where you are right now to being a digital asset rock star. Let's go through what we've put together here, okay? Because we have a complete blueprint and foundational training and a step-by-step -step how to pick awesome profitable niches training as well as a profitable asset creation training program. We're also going to show you how to win fast and get visible results quickly with virtual real estate type assets and lease sites like you saw in the exact examples I showed you for the $50,000 in 30 day challenge. We're also hooking you up with our publishing mogul training which is showing you how to create your own assets and get paid quickly. Other people stuff is where we're teaching you how to leverage onto products and lists fast. That's where we're going to show you how to create record deals Find that nerd that has that awesome software and get it in front of the right people quickly. Whether you have a list or JV relationships or not, 
We will show you the low-hanging fruit and shortcuts that we use time and time again. We'll show you the shortcuts that we've taught our students like Mike to use who made $104,000 in five days. We'll show you those shortcuts that required him to have no lists and no relationships off the, out, of the, out of the gate, right? And we also have something that's really cool that a lot of people love. It's called the fast money method. And that's one of the really cool things that once you get into this program, the fast money method will get you started right away at generating serious income quickly, instantly, without having your own product. In fact, we're giving you the whole, the whole product and package. You know that, that calculator we, used, or we showed you earlier? You're going to get that, and you're going to be able to use the exact same approach and copy and paste and do it the exact same way. Don't even guess. Just do it exactly the way the Fast Money Method shows you. This is designed to walk you through every step piece by piece. Copy, paste, make it happen, do it the easy way. And we're also giving you our advanced selling and deal getting program, as well as our paid training, which is a really cool acronym that I'll let you find out about when, once you get in. But it's really the easiest way to get some big deals closed quickly and easily without any stress, as well as our seven-figure blueprint and our entire arsenal of tools and themes and resources that you can use so you do not have to struggle or get stressed out being a digital asset rockstar. And as a bonus, we're going to invite you to our private group for a full year, which is a $1,000 value on its own, which includes personal critiques and one-on-one -on -one opportunities with us. All right, that was a whole mouthful there because that's a total value of over ten grand, and we are releasing this for a killer deal at just nineteen ninety nine. That's the actual current price of it, but we're going to hook you up, guys. And we originally thought, well, let's just give them a payment plan, but screw that, two payments of nine ninety nine. dollars and we could do even better because here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to hook you up with the best deal you've ever seen, and we're going to take the risk here because we've set this up to get it for two payments of four ninety seven. But here's the catch, all right? You're only going to make the first payment now, and you are not going to make a second payment to us at all until you get a five times ROI. That is how confident and positive we are that this program works. That's how sure we are that those of you who grab this right now and get in on this are going to get serious results with it, that we are willing to take this risk with you, and you only make the first payment now, and you do not make the second payment until you get at least a five time ROI. And guys, you're on the honor system on that. We'll have a little button there in the member area for you, but it's on the honor system. We're not going to follow you and chase you down, but in order to get this right now and take advantage of this crazy, insane offer we put together for you, you need to go to digitalassetrockstar.com forward slash rich right now. And while you're going there, you can quickly look and see what you're about to jump into because this is the actual backstage area. Right? You're going to get instant access to all the foundations, walkthroughs, videos, everything you need to be able to create profitable revenue generating digital assets from start to finish from from having no deal ready to having a deal complete there's nothing left unturned you can completely just pick and choose any which method you want start building up or increasing your digital asset portfolio and be a true digital asset investor with cash flow generating assets. We're going, to, we're going to give you awesome resources like that lead machine calculator. We're giving you some of our themes. We're giving you the exact process we do for our virtual real estate and our publishing deals. We show you how to use other people's shit, all right? Our fast money method. I mean, guys, this is insane what we've put in here. Uh, anybody who has gotten in on this already will tell you that it is totally a deal and a steal at the full price of $19.99, two, almost $2,000. So what we're putting together here for you now is a complete no-brainer. Like As always, you have three choices. Do nothing, nothing improves, nothing changes. Go in it the hard way on your own. Hope to get lucky. We've given you a lot of information now, so you could do a lot of stuff with what we gave you today. Or you can give this proven program a real chance. Remember, we're taking a lot of risk here and hooking you up and you can rock your business out with us. I encourage you to choose the winner's choice and go to digitalassetrockstar.com forward slash rich right now. I mean, just remember, this: what all you're getting here is well over $10,000 in value, and we're not even doing 
this, the two full payments, four ninety seven up front. No, you are not. This is not a recurring payment. This is completely on the honor system. You get this now. You make one single payment. This is how confident we are. Just make one single payment of four ninety seven today, and you'll never make a second payment until you get the five times ROI on this by going to digitalassetrockstar.com forward slash rich. Anything to add, Dr. Dan? Nope. I think you covered everything. Awesome. Yeah, got some excited people. I'm pretty excited, man. I, I, I just love it, man. I mean, I, 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 I want to see a whole bunch more new case studies added into our group there. Because this thing, people grab this, I mean, a lot, we've had so many people tell us they've made their first money online by following the types of trading that we share inside Digital Asset Rockstar. We got a lot of people who are just simply picking one thing at a time, and that's great because they're all work on the same principles. But you know what? Stop guessing at this stuff. We lay out the full blueprint of exactly what we do in every area of our business. This is how we're running a seven-figure a month business. This is how we are on track to make that a consistent reality day in, day out in our business, and we hold nothing back inside there. Everything that we're doing, you're, you're going to see, you're going to be able to copy and paste and not guess on. So we made this a complete no-brainer. We, we love Rich. We love you guys for hanging with us. So we wanted to make this just an absolute no-brainer. So we're going to take the risk with you here and take it away and make it so, okay, you pay us one payment four ninety seven a day, and you don't make that second payment until you've seen results from this. Five times ROI, and you don't pay us a penny until then on top of it. That, it's that easy, guys. Love it. All right, we'll, we have questions. Now would be the time. Rich, are you still with us? Yes, I am still with you. I am right here. Actually. Awesome. Oh no, I didn't go very far from the uh, from the tree. I'm just watching. I'm just amazed and how incredible that this is. This offer that you're giving, especially when you're basically saying, "Did I hear five times five hundred dollars?" Basically. Is, yes. Is that what I heard? Yeah, let me check. Yeah, and that's on the honor system. We trust you guys. We know that once you've seen the money, you're not going to have any problem saying, "Yep, I'll give you that second payment. No problem at all." Yeah, I mean that that is that is awesome, you know. And 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 I and I and I listen and and I and I'm watching all of this. And and when you when you consider everything that it is that you have to offer, plus the association that we have with you too, um, to be an affiliate and and to be associated and to learn from this, I mean it's just absolutely awesome. Uh, I went ahead and I put the uh, linkable. Uh, you can go ahead and click on that. It's Digital Assets Rockstar dot com forward slash rich uh, that's the clickable link in the chat box I also did a cut and paste in the question box as well so uh, uh, you get you get the opportunity just go ahead and, and pick that up guys uh, you you know you, you it, it's such a it's such a great program I'm trying to think of some of the negatives and I really can't <laughs> put anything together you know I mean uh, uh, I, I, nothing I, I I'm trying to think of reasons why uh, well, she obviously thought of a reason why. Would, uh, that <laughs> that um, bitch. That bitch. Yeah, I know. I really, you know, I rescued her too, huh? Hey, are you, are you poodle yeah. fluffing on the side? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. Uh, I, but anyway, yeah, she came into my life, and I was glad she's here. Okay, one of you go outside. They know how to open the door on their own. So uh, yeah, folks, uh, take advantage of this now because you know this is one thing that, and I have to tell you. Um, the association that you're getting with the the rock stars um, and and learning from them, you know, these, this is not somebody that these guys have been together for a long time. Somebody that just popped up and said, "Oh, by the way, I think I'll I'll have a great program, and and this is what I'm going to charge, and this is what it can do for you uh, without it being proven." These ladies and gentlemen, you know, these guys are are proven rock stars. They are ones that have been doing this for a long time, and They've given you a guarantee. It's not a money-back guarantee. It's a guarantee that you're going to make five times the amount of money that you invest right now before you have to pay another penny. That's awesome. Whether it takes five months or five years, uh, guys, uh, is, is, there, is there a time limit on making that money? 
Guys, my my guess is anybody that goes through this and is not able to to do that in under a month is is doing is doing something wrong. Okay, I mean honestly, I will I'll personally get on the phone with you and figure out what you're doing wrong because with what you learned just in the fast money method alone, which is actually a short no fluff, no no nonsense. That's what I encourage you to do. The second you get in there, is go and go through the fast money method and start using it tonight. Start using it first thing in the morning when you get up. Start using it. It is, it is so easy to go out and generate money. Now, it's all about the activity, and we show you the exact activity you need to do and exactly how to set it up and how to do things. Even if you don't have to have your own product, you don't have to have a list, you don't have to have any of that. You just have to follow the activities that are prescribed and do them without excuses, without apologizing, without worry, without fear, because we got your back. Everything is in there that you need to be able to succeed. If you can't get a 5X ROI in 30 days, I would be shocked if you do those activities, you can't get a 5X ROI in a week even. I mean, this is that powerful. Does that answer your question, Rich? I'm here. I'm listening. No, Mike, oh. I'm here. All right. Did you say you wanted to ask me a question, or are we looking? I said, did that answer your question, Rich? It did answer my question, yes. I was, awesome. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at some of the questions here. I want to say, will I get SEO optimized software if I join today? I replied to that. That's actually a whole different product. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. I, okay, I see that, you know, I see that uh, Dan is answering questions on the back end, folks. So if you have questions that you want to ask these guys, uh, Dan is in the back right now. Uh, he'd be more than happy to answer these questions. Plus, you know, we'll be able to, able to answer these questions as well, you know, as long as um, we have Ben on with us right now. In fact, the both of them. In fact, um, why don't we just go ahead and put a little time limit on this? What do you say about another seven minutes, guys? Seven to ten minutes? If there aren't any more questions, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. What do you think? That's fine with me. We'll answer as many questions as you guys want to want to ask. So okay. Shoot, fire away. Dan, you see anything there? You tell me. Yeah, no, there was, a, there was a great question here. Uh, somebody asked, like, are you worried about saturation with doing this? And I answered them um, in the background, but I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, shed some light on that. Now, we don't worry about saturation because, you know, when we see saturation, which doesn't happen that often, but it has happened for us, um, either one of two things happen. Either we feel like it might be getting a little saturated, but most of the time it's that we just adapt ourselves because, we get really lazy um, and we get frustrated with certain, you know, with certain things that are happening like, oh man, you know, I mean, that's how we basically started whole, doing all the, you know, the lease sites and things like that is because we got sick of being a dancing monkey for clients, you know, I mean, they were basically always threatening like, hey, if I don't get the results I, I expect, you know, that I'm just going to fire you or or even even if even if they're getting too much you know business they're like oh well I don't need you anymore so I'm gonna stop paying you and we just lost everything that we did all the work that we did so we're always adapting and finding newer and easier ways to do things and the same goes for this I mean it was really crazy how some of this came to be with like the record deals and things like that because you know there's not a day that probably goes by when I'm out and about and I might go out to lunch or something and I'll see a business card or I'll see something or even like like right now I'm actually uh, getting into RC cars you know RC trucks and I'm having fun with those with my kids I bought a couple of them and um, and doing that alone I'm, I'm like googling videos and hobby shops and things and I'm seeing so much opportunity for people out there that are like the RC experts, they have YouTube channels and things like that, but they're not monetizing it correctly. They could create, they've created products that they're selling for like a dollar or two dollars, and I could just jump in real quick and be like, hey, you know what? You can. I'm already thinking that, but I'm just saying that you know, you reach out to these if I had the time, <laughs> and if I felt like doing it, I'd reach out to them and say, hey, look, I'm passionate about this, and I would like to help you make money with this, and this is. This is what we do. I mean, this is what we did with that example Ben showed you with uh, with that hundred and five thousand dollars in five days. That's something that we were passionate about. You know, just hey, we can help you take this to the market. We can help you make money with this, and we do this all the time. And it's not just in this industry. I mean, I was at, at a restaurant, at a vegan restaurant, and I've kind of told the story. And and I was at the vegan restaurant, and what I saw was somebody's card on there about being this. Uh, you know, plant-based uh, nutritionist where the, you know it's all plant-based foods, 
And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So I checked it out online on my phone while I was there at the restaurant. And I was like, oh, my God, you know, I can see they're trying here, but there's so much bad stuff here. I mean, like, they're selling a, an e-book um, and a Kindle book and all this other stuff. So they're making, like, a one-time payment. And then they try to do some kind of a group coaching thing that wasn't even launched yet. It said, you know, hey, uh, you know, it'll be out soon or something like that. Or there was not even like a waiting list or anything, so she wasn't collecting emails. And it said on there like nineteen dollars a month per person for some kind of group coaching where she was going to help them. And you know, you could you could imagine that more than likely she's probably going to use some like free uh, what is that called free call conference call dot com, which I used back in the MLM days, like in nineteen twenty two or nineteen eighty two or whatever it was. It wasn't that long ago, but it was in the in the early two thousands, and uh, and I could just I mean we could just jump in there and be like, look, use GoToWebinar. Here's how you can set up Schedule Once, which is a calendar which allows everybody to schedule one on one appointments with you, and you don't have to confirm anything. Everything's done in the back end. Here's how to set up a membership site to have the replay pages and all this other stuff, and then the resources. Facebook, all these different little things that she would never be able to figure out herself, and now she can raise that price to you know a hundred dollars a month, or you know even if she just wanted to do forty dollars a month or twenty dollars a month, but now everything is streamlined. It's a lot easier to do. We see these opportunities every day, and you can get a percentage of that on the back end too, which is just awesome. So that was a long way of answering your question. It won't be saturated. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? Nice. <laughs> what else they say on here? Um, www.digitalassetrockstar.com forward slash rich. That is the keys to the kingdom. I'd like to think it's the olive branch that uh, you want to grab and Take advantage of this. Wow, I just can't believe it. Five times. That's twenty five hundred bucks, folks, before you have to make another payment. How would you would you is there anybody here that would not invest five hundred dollars to make twenty five hundred dollars? Anybody? <laughs> Do I I don't see I, I don't see anybody. Do you guys? Nope. Nope. I know there's nope, huh? Uh, you can go ahead, and that's the clickable link in the chat box and in the question box. Just go ahead and then just highlight and paste, and that'll be awesome. So, um, guys, let me ask you. If, if somebody's on the fence right now, first of all, somebody's asking if it works in Asia. Does it work in Asia? Do people get on the Internet in Asia and buy stuff? Yeah, I guess that would answer the question, huh? Yeah, I, it works in Yes, it, then yes. Yeah, or you can let Dan answer, answer it, and he'll take 20 minutes to tell you yes. 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 <laughs> so Chris is saying in yes. In Asia. No, I was kidding. Yeah. Now, I mean, would that be Asia Minor or Asia Major? Do you remember that from geography? Did I just say geography? I did, didn't I? Asia Minor and Asia Major. Never mind. <clears throat> um, how do you pronounce that name? Bernard? Bernard? Bernard is saying crazy people want a 30-day guarantee. Instead, you're giving them a $2,500 guarantee. Yes. Take $500 and invest in yourself and watch how within 30 days uh, you're going to get five times that. That's $2,500. That's a profit of $2,000. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that's $2,000. Uh, let's take advantage of it right now. Okay, uh, we got about uh, another five minutes or so. Uh, Effing says, do you supply any software to make the polls like the ones on the dentistry yes. sites? Yes, that is given to you, and you can use that as much as you want. You're given a, a complete developer-level license to use that, abuse it. Uh, in fact, that the fast money method will show you exactly how to take that. That's why we said you don't have to have your own thing created at all. You don't have to have anything. That's The fast money method is there for you to literally steal the exact same process that I used in the 30-day challenge for myself and just go for it. Uh, take that and put it in there and go after any niche you want and get paid. Go make your money quickly. That's why it's called the fast money method. And then as you want to scale up, this program is there for you to be able to literally scale up to a business 
of, of as, or at least as big as ours, because you know we had, we designed that and we gave everything we got in what we know inside our own business and our own success. Uh, anything else is guessing, and you guys know us. We've been around for a long time. We don't ever make the folks that that put their trust in us our guinea pigs. That's just unacceptable to us, and that's a practice we hope to see completely obliterated in this marketplace. But we are, yeah, we are giving you exactly what we know and what we've done, what we've proven, and it's in there. And the fast money method is for those of you who just want to go out and take it, copy and paste your way into some good revenue as you scale up your business. Exactly. Awesome. Anybody else? We're counting it down. Um, about another minute or so, and otherwise we're going to uh, say good night. And we'll see you again. Hello. Do we have any more questions going once or twice? Guys, there it was seems... a question about... Oh, sorry. There's a question about, uh, you know, do we cover, like, how to rank number one on Google? Yeah, we go over keyword research and all that good stuff. We give you everything that you need to succeed in this. Yep. Yep. Well, there you go. <laughs> and you can apply this to Spanish market as well, yes. Yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you haven't gotten it, get it. If you haven't gotten it, get it. I mean, really, we I mean, this is normally two grand, um, one single payment. We want to make this like so you guys can just really take it, and, and we want to show you our confidence in you and, and, and our own stuff by putting this deal together this way to show you that we know this works. We have 100% confidence and everything that you are about to jump into here and that's why we made this just a no-brainer thing you make one payment today of 497 and you don't even make a second payment this is not set up on auto rebuild nothing like that nothing sneaky nothing tricky in fact you know you just make one single payment today of 497 and we don't ever hear back from you again even if you're succeeding that's cool we're not going to chase you down it's all on the honor system so get it get your 5x ROI and don't worry about anything else but making this work and taking the actionable steps that are provided for you step by step over the shoulder walk through guide paint by number style without any guessing and make it work for you get it, get it now and take your business up a little be a digital investor stop labeling yourself as an affiliate marketer or a local marketer or a product marketer or all these labels and embrace yourself as a digital investor now and level up your business for real guys start building a real business and take it up a, a notch because it it's not hard to do if you know the steps and these steps are in here and that's how confident we are in this that we have this 5x ROI promise to you uh, that you will succeed if you put what we have in here to action right now by going to digitalassetrockstar.com forward slash rich well there you go folks there's your opportunity. Here's your chance. Barry says, thanks very much for answering my questions. An awesome program. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Guys, I want to thank you very much for coming on to the show tonight. Uh, it was awesome material. Once again, you did not disappoint. Um, it, it was very awesome uh, for you to come on and do this. Uh, Epping is asking about a replay. I will try to see if the replay gods are, are good. And uh, Bernard Bernard says, I'm in. Thank you very much. Uh, awesome. And in fact, just just to give you give us an idea if you've already gone if you're already in if you already went ahead and and uh, purchased go ahead and just type in the number one uh, we'd love to congratulate you while we're still on and hanging in there for the next minute or so and we also want to thank uh, the guys very much what do you say we give them a nice thank you let's go ahead and type in thank you thank you <laughs> I typed it in you're welcome yeah, yeah good guys all right so going once, twice, any more questions? If there's no more questions, uh, Luis says, okay, I'm in. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Luis. Congratulations. And uh, Binyard, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Congratulations to you. Um, did you do 30 to 50K in the cosmetic dental niche? Do you know, uh, did you guys do something in the, in the cosmetic yeah. dental niche? Oh, no, not cosmetic dental, no, cosmetic surgeons. Oh, cosmetic surgeons. Gotcha. Rhinoplasty. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, Dr. Thank ben, uh, or Dr. Dr. Dan, and, and, and Ben, thank you so very much. Uh, you guys uh, was awesome. 
awesome tonight. I appreciate you coming in, and I want to congratulate everybody who has taken advantage of this special opportunity tonight, and I know you're going to do quite well. Um, guys, thank Thanks. you very much for coming by tonight. Yeah, thank you, EBR. We appreciate it. Yeah, I like it the way you say EBR. Do I sound like EBR? Well, no, but it says up on the uh, little it, thing. It there. does, doesn't it? E, 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 butthead Rose. Yeah, that, that's I'm doing my best impression of EBR. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming by once again. Uh, uh, another fine well, webinar here on uh, Rich Willems Webinars and Webinar Swaps and JB Zoo Webinars. I want to thank everybody for coming by. Uh, we know your time is very important, and once again, uh, we only bring you the best of the best, so we want to thank you very much. And on behalf of of all of us here at JV Zoo webinars and Rich Willens webinars, et cetera, et cetera, on behalf of uh, Brian Zimmerman, E. Brian Rose, and Chad Castleman, I'm Rich Willens. And on behalf of the rock stars, thanks very much, guys. And we will uh, see you next time on another edition of Webinar Swaps, Rich Willens webinars, and JV Zoo webinars. Good night, everybody. Thanks, brother. Rock on. Be rock star in your business and in your life.